guys, thanks for joining me today. Um, in my previous video, I told you about using a clothespin to substitute for a ring holder if you don't have one. So in this video, I'm going to tell you about some how you can take that clothespin and some other props that you probably already have around your home and use it to display your jewelry. So let me just start off by showing you uh, a little bit more of this. And you see how now that I took that varnish off the table, you get those, that nice staining and, and all that sort of layering of, of wear that goes along with having a nice rustic look to it. So I showed you this in a video, a quick little video, how you just take that clothespin and like I said, you can get them from like the dollar store, a package of them, and you just use it to prop up your jewelry. You get different angles and based on where you place the jewelry item, you'll get a different angle and you can kind of turn that around and, and edit your pictures. Okay, so in this video, uh, in this clip, I'm showing you how you can take that clothespin, put it on the knob and display the necklace. So I put the clothespin over the knob and then here, this is, these, excuse me, the earrings. So you can display those earrings from that. And then when you take the final picture, if you don't want to include the clothespin, you don't have to. You can take that same idea, let me show you this, how I did this with this necklace. So what I did with this necklace is I took the clothespin, I put it on the back of the necklace, and I hung it over the door, and it held, held it there. Okay? So that gives you, you can take close-ups, you can also use your editing um, software to edit the picture to get a closer shot. But this gives you an idea of how you don't have to go out and make a big investment to start your jewelry business or to even create looks on the internet. Everyone's um, interested in creating looks on the internet. You don't need this. This isn't a really expensive piece. You can get it easily on eBay or Amazon or any sort of online uh, website. You can also go to some of the crafting stores and get this. But if you don't want to start out with a big investment because you're not sure how your business will actually uh, work and if it will be profitable, just use what you already have. So I wanted to show you how even in setting up your pictures, I'm going to kind of just zoom in a little bit. Even in setting up your pictures, what you're doing is you're, you're deciding what you want to showcase. This necklace, I got it for a really inexpensive price on eBay. Like I said, I gave you um, a previous video. Please take a look at it. I'm giving you all the insider tips. I was a visual merchandiser at high end, at a high end store, and I used that, that experience at other jobs. I'm giving you all the inside tips. I'm giving you the inside tips of being an eBay seller, of being someone who has made great purchases on eBay for a really low price. This necklace wasn't expensive. I don't know exactly how much I paid for it, but again, I got a good deal because I knew how to buy at a low price on eBay. So what you're doing when you're, you're um, deciding on making a purchase on eBay is you're looking for a good deal and you're looking for something that will fit your store brand. So when think of it like having a store. So if you're going to be an eBay seller or sell jewelry online, think of it about, about Think about it like having a, a store. And if you know that in stores, they pick merchandise that fits their brand. Come up with your brand. Maybe you're someone who likes blingy jewelry. So have pieces that reflect that. And this way, customers will know if they want a blingy piece, they go to you. So again, when you're doing your pictures and you're trying to figure out exactly what you want to showcase, most people want to know exactly how many of these there are. Something like this, you probably are there for a more festive occasion. So you want to know the exact colors because you want to match it back to your outfit. Maybe you have a dress that picks up on this color. So you want to give them the opportunity to see exactly what colors are in the piece. Since these pieces have links, you also would like to display that so that the purchaser will know 
well maybe this will be too much but they can take out a few links and I mentioned that in the previous video when you have a small frame either a small list or a small small your picture person sometimes we have to take out links because it's just overwhelming for us or maybe we just want to make it into something that's a little bit tighter around our neck what I like about this is that you can just put your closure this has like a core clasp into one of these links to make it smaller but sometimes people don't want that because they don't want it to look sort of off center and asymmetrical so what they'll do is they'll just remove links and that's an option you know um another thing i wanted to tell you folks is that when you're taking these pictures play around with the angle play around with whether or not you put it in the middle if you put it sort of uh, to the side find the best lighting and i like to include ebay lets you include a lot of pictures for free i like to use up as many pictures as possible because you can see how based on the camera angle the lighting is a little bit different and so the colors will look a, a bit different based on the camera angle so use up as many pictures as possible by doing that you're giving it to your buyer enough of an opportunity to decide whether that's the right item and then that person will be more satisfied with the purchase. So that's why I'm showing you how to take as many pictures as possible. Because in some pictures, this might look a little bit more like a, a peach color. In other pictures, it may look more like a um, orange color. So take a lot of pictures because um, many people are buying these pieces to match back to something they already have. And they want to make sure that this will work for them okay so again in this picture the lighting <clears throat> is a little bit different so you can see how this lighting is picking up different colors so in this color this picture looks sort of i don't know like a pink a pink color okay i want to show you this i'm going to do another video on this but i want to show you how you can use like a picture frame and put sort of put something in the picture frame, it doesn't matter what you put in it, and use that to display jewelry pieces. Again, the idea is to showcase the item. So use this as a background. You can zoom in on it, zoom out on it. You can even put something like a white sheet of paper in it, just to kind of give you something to display the piece on. But this makes it more interesting, and it makes people more likely to click on it. So I showed I told you I'm going to do a video on this, and I'll tell you about that video probably at the end of this video. But again, you, you've given your picture some interest so that people are more likely to click on it. So I showed you the earrings and how I displayed it, and how you can use the clothespin. Now I'm showing you how you can use that clothespin just on over a, a drawer or over another prop that you have. Play around with it. You don't have to make a huge investment initially. The, the, the goal is to see how the business will work and then figure out what you'll need. In this video, I showed you how you can just take 